off with the feathered ones. Shorty, go see what all the buzz is about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? We did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoo, feather freaks, get moving. Your presence here with disapproving. Messing with my sleep, foo. Well, I say shoo. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoo, feathered one, shoo. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle to a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoo now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Oh, 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 it out right now. Yeah. Yeah. The birds are leaving. Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to draw up our battle plan. Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. Ah! 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 Those? No! No, they can't be! My, my mom told Where me... Where did they come from? That they, they sucked the blood out of everyone! Oh no! How terrible! What do we do? Let's run to Mapa. He must know. Squiggers! Ah. These are squeaky mosquitoes! No Grab the pine branches! Ow. Get to the cave! Ah. Yes! Ah. 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 Soon 
now are we going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry. So he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes. Poor animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent Leopard to fight them. Oh. And then Wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, Can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the taiga. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> 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 The spirit of the tiger come to us. Oh, come to us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the taiga, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the taiga, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nests. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing the song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need you here. Just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long. Just to listen to your song Songs of joy, spring is here We love singing, can't you?
to see Sing and whistle, do a dance You'll bring spring into our land Forest dwellers need to hear Just how lovely you can sing An old friend. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, no, 11, here I'll be found 12, right away. 13, 14, 15, this won't work either. 16, 17, oh, so where should I hide? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and I'm done counting. Ready or not, here I come. All right. Leo, here I come! Wow, this is a sweet hiding spot. Tiggle has to look for me till nightfall. <laughs> Leo, there you are. Cool. Let's do it again. Totally. <laughs> Leo, where'd you get this nest anyway? From a tree. <laughs> where else? But what if this nest belongs to somebody? Well, you know, the nest is empty. And if it's empty, it means it's abandoned. <laughs> Yeah, we're coming! Just a second! Tig, let's just put it away now and come back later for more riding. All right. Push it this way. You don't hurry! I'm gonna leave without you! <sighs> Mila, wait for us! Okay. So today, I'm going to tell you quite an amazing story. The sea waves when the wind above the sea waves when the wind above the sea waves starts to storm and rage. We will scare it off with shouts. Mappa, who's that flying over there? The crows? <laughs> You're a crow, Mila. <laughs> they are eagles. Easy, easy, children. Don't fight. Those are storks. They are coming back to their nests after the winter. Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey -ho. We're flying home, my. Friend. <laughs> it's so wonderful to see an old friend when you come back home. And who is that? Children, I want you to meet Theodore, an old friend of mine, a stork. Mr. Theodore, was it a difficult journey? Well, as they say in the far land of China, the journey to your family nest begins with a single wing stroke. You know what, children? I'm going to tell you the story of the stork. Oh, wow. I'd be happy to hear that, too. All right, then. Once upon a time, there lived a stork. Was he all alone? Yes, all alone. All by his lonesome in his giant nest. But then the stork decided to find himself a girlfriend. One day, high in the sky, right under the clouds, he saw a beautiful lady. Only it turned out that this beautiful lady is the daughter of the strongest wind, who didn't want to share her with anyone. The wind came down, ooh, and pulled the stork's nest apart. But the stork wasn't about to give up. He built a new nest much stronger than the previous one. And that's when the wind realized that the stork is a worthy fiancé for his daughter. 
persistent and courageous. Ever since that time, storks come back to their nests every year, and the families they build last for their entire lives. Mr. Theodore, do you also have a girlfriend? Well, a stork with a nest has everything. You know what? Come visit me. It's close on the top of that hill. Tig, I have a bad feeling that the nest we found might have an owner after all. Really? And who is he? The nest is gone. Well, what do you mean, gone? Completely gone! Maybe the wind blew it away. No one could do that! It was the sturdiest nest in the entire taiga! Oh, no, no, no. My Theodora's gonna be here any minute. Oh, you haven't seen her angry. That's it. It's all over. Don't you worry, sir. We'll help you. Leo and I will find it in no time. Let's go, Tig. Leo, where's the nest? How should I know? It used to be here. Weird. It couldn't have just disappeared, could it? Stop. Do you hear that? <laughs> That's so awesome! <laughs> Did you see the shorty fly out? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's push it up. Come on, hurry up. Push, push. <laughs> come on, let's go. Hey, you. Give us back our nest. Your nest? <laughs> hey, Martins, did you hear that? Oh, yeah. The spotty and the stripey make nests now. <laughs> I can't even believe it. It's not yours or ours, but the nest does have an owner. Give it back. <laughs> right. First, catch us if you can. <laughs> We're asking nicely. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Tig, we're in so much trouble. Oh, no, no, no. Is this all that's left of my nest? No, no, no. Children, you should be ashamed. We didn't throw it down from the tree. They did. That's right. They did. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Mappa, we were just playing hide and seek and then it fell down. I didn't mean to. And then we just thought that it had no owner. We are very sorry. Yeah. We're very sorry. Please forgive us. Wise men would say that there can only be a wrong path, but never a hopeless situation. But this is the end. Ah, <laughs> oh, children, children. Mappa Pantiga, we're going to fix everything. Oh, listen, guys, I've got an idea. Leo, is this one nest material? For the roof? Sure. And these? Just perfect. Put them there. Okay. Right. Spike, let the spotty and the stripey do the work. That's right. What are we here for? Stop asking and start collecting. All right. A little more. Okay, and one more. Good. Mila, you need to stop. It's already pretty. Tig, call him. Okay. Mm. Oh. Mr. Storm, mm -hmm. it's done. Come and have a look. <laughs> the creeks bring more light. And following spring, I also came back. It's such a surprise. Hmm. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> well then, want to race? The first one to that bush wins. Come on. Going on the count of three. One, two, three. I'm already fed up with this snow. Tig, it suits you. Spring is over. And it's still freezing. Uh-huh. I really miss all that sunshine, too. <laughs> and I miss the flowers. Come out, sunshine. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm sure it will come out just for you. There once was someone in the taiga who the sun listened to. <gasps> really? How exciting! Tell us more, Mappa! Come along with me, kids. The Sun Folk. Look at that! Awesome! Mappa! <laughs> Who are they? This is the Sun Folk. What kind of folk? Sun Folk. These animals lived in the taiga a long time ago. It is said that they descended from the sun itself. In cold times, when the sun used to stop giving warmth to the earth, they used to send the chosen one the strongest and fastest one in their tribe, to talk to the forefather and ask him to turn up the heat. And the son listened to him. But, Mama Pandiga, how did they talk to the sun? It's so high up. There is a valley of geysers behind the quick river and the big swamp. And in the valley lies the magical sunstone. They used it to communicate. Mappa, where are these sun folks right now? Nobody knows. Some say they left these parts a long time ago. But others believe that the sun folk is still among us. They just forgot about where they came from. There, look. To me, this chosen one looks like Leo, don't you think? <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. Let's get going. It's getting chilly. <laughs> Leo, Leo, stop sitting around. Come play tag with us. Tig, I still can't get the Sun Folk story out of my head. <laughs> Try to think on the run. It will warm you up a lot. Just listen for a sec. What if I, I mean, leopards are the Sun Folk? And I'm the Chosen One. You? The Chosen One? Why not? You said yourself that the one from the picture looks a lot like me. Well, he does. It means I have to go to the Valley of the Geysers and look for the Sunstone. Leo, it's very dangerous to go to the valley. <laughs> Guys, come on, try to understand. If I am the Chosen One, I have to talk to the Sun. Otherwise, summer will never come. Whether you're the Chosen One or not, this much, I know. We're not going to let you go alone. Yeah, Tig is right. We'll go with you. No way. I'm not going to go in that water. Let me think. I'll come up with something. A raft? Wow, Cuba. You're a genius. Leo, what are you doing? Hop on the raft. You forget, Tig. I'm the chosen one. I have to find the sunstone by myself. Leo! Don't 
Don't worry, I got this, guys. <laughs> We finally made it to the big swamp. I'm sure that this whole swamp is already frozen or something. Whoa! Maybe not. Leo, where are you going? I'm jumping over it. Leo, that's crazy. Come with us. It is safer together. Don't be afraid, guys. I'm the chosen one. I totally got this. If this so-called sunstone does not exist, you're giving me a piggy ride back. Uh, 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 Leo! Uh, you might want to be careful! Uh, it's okay. I can do this. I am the chosen one. It's okay when you use teamwork and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Are you coming? Yeah. You guys taking a nap? Let's go! <sighs> okay. Now Leo will crawl up to his hunk of rock, say hello to the sun, and then we can go home. Hey, guys! What about the geysers? What about the geyser schmeisers? They won't stop us. Mama didn't say that they were hot! <gasps> Whoa! The sunstone! Found it! <sighs> Leo, wait for us! Huh? Ow! <gasps> They're singeing my fur off! Ah, Leo, watch out! Jara, I'm the chosen one! I'll come up with something! Leo, you tried hard, but you see, there's no way to get through. Let's forget about the stone. Let's go home, okay? Uh, guys, you go. I'll catch up later. Chosen one. I got this. I can do this. I'm sorry, Leo, but it seems even the chosen one can't do it by himself. But together, we got this. Come on, push! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
together we just asked it nicely, and the sunshine came out. By the time we came back, everything already bloomed. Nicely done. It has indeed become much warmer. It was Leo's idea. <laughs> he suggested we go to the Sunstone. Thank you, friends. Without your help, I just couldn't have done it myself. Ah, kids. As they say, the one without friends is like a tree without roots. And always remember this. Two heads are better than one. <laughs> Leo! Catch! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> huh? Oh! Hey, Cuba! <laughs> Catch! <sighs> Ew! Cuba, look! You're a real pig! <laughs> oh, Cuba! Stop rolling around! Let's play! Cuba in love. Cuba! What, you get stuck over there? <laughs> oh! Look at that! A piggy! I haven't seen her before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. Ah, <laughs> uh, love, love. I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time, in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got her all. Look how well I can dive. I am the very best. Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now the third swan started to think, what present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan. Because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop, then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. Cuba, wait! Legends are great, of course. Uh, but you're, you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Cuba, you're covered in mud from hooves to tail. Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan. But a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. Cuba, <laughs> hang on. Beauty always has a price. There you go. 
go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Wait! We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still a little bit plain, you know? Don't you worry, buddy, cause we're gonna dress you up. <laughs> better now. As good as a swan. <laughs> Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! <laughs> Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic even. A feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? <laughs> how about crossing the rapids? Or would you <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. This wasn't going to work. Cuba. Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so. Uh, 
But next time, you won't get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. A wise man once said, Be yourself, and you'll find someone's heart will open to you. <laughs> Guys, watch this. I got this. I am going to hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all, it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. <laughs> Fellas! Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it. Or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. Curious. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. Ow! What in the? The snake bit me! Relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. <gasps> Look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> A vulture! <laughs> oh, a three-course meal! Hurry into the ah. forest! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Phew, that was too close. Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's a little weird? I got it! That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Ooh, I will call you a little baby T. Ah. Remember, baby T, tiger is the tiger's king. Ha, <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T, do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Because they are really, really super fierce. Rawr! Make sense? Well, now you try. Come on, louder, like this. Rawr! Enough! Now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, 
that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. Rawr! <laughs> It's not quite like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. Ah! And use that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, Baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! I think it's my turn to train little T now. No way! Because he's still not a real tiger yet! But he won't be! Because baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard! Tiger, leopard, guys! Does it really even matter? He's just a baby! Oh, guys, guys! Wh wh where is T? Baby T, come out, say something. We're here. Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. Yoo-hoo, baby T. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Mm. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way, but where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller! Yoo-hoo! T, where are you? Say something! Ah, uh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up! It turns out that T is a water dweller! What, a water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes, he's at the river. <gasps> but guys, the vulture. <laughs> My lunch order's here, with an extra crispy tortilla shell. <laughs> Baby T. Could you say that again? Didn't catch that. Keep your filthy beak off Baby T. <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner. <gasps> Run, T. Save yourself. <laughs> Oh. Baby oh. T! 
Together. <laughs> Look, it's her. It's the wise turtle. Goodbye. Swim, T. This is your family. And well, I wanted to say, you were one awesome tiger. And a brave leopard. Don't forget to ride! <laughs>